so now what I will do I will add thickness to this outer panel first okay so what I am going to do is I am going to measure the okay so here uh, I did one mistake here so here I have created the 2.5 mm cap I have maintained here but I didn't consider the thickness of this outer panel here so so we need to consider the thickness of that outer panel also to maintain the 2.5 mm cap <laughs> so what I'm going to do is if I so whatever the surfaces which I have extended I will simply add 0 0.7 which is the thickness of this outer panel so so everywhere I'm just going to add 0.7 wherever I have extended the surface at uh, initially so if I only extend it further by 0.7 then everything else will update according to that so here also in the sweep we need to add 0.7 and finally this is the final sweep okay so now let's update all the things okay so now this is done so now you can see now after adding the thickness to the outer panel the gap will be 2.5 so so right now it is 3 it is showing 3 mm so what I will do I will first okay so before adding thickness uh, we need to provide the relief on these corners so the re relief should be provided to make this hemming manufacturable but, uh, if we don't provide the relief on the corners then the hemming will be will not be manufacturable so it will generate more stress so that's why we need to give the relief here so to to give the relief i'm going to create few points and I will simply create a spline in between these two points in this way So that so what I will do I will first create a boundary here and on that boundary I will create a point So this uh, relief is very important so the relief is provided to reduce the stress at the corner area while hemming the sheet because the sharp corner generates more stress and also it will be uh, manufacturable so that's why this relief should be provided and it, it is very important to provide the relief on the corners so on all the corners we have to provide this relief so here I think there is a mistake here 
so after splitting this everything got splitted so I think so let's extrude this and So let's try to split this now. It's, I think there is a little problem. So we need to only okay. So here you can see the point which I have created is on the surface, which it is not on the curve, it is inside the surface. So that's why it is splitting the unnecessary area. So this point we need to modify. So so here also I will create a boundary and on that boundary I will create a point. Okay, so here as you can see in the same way we have to do the hemming on each corner so I will just do it quickly and as you can see I have created the relief I have provided the relief on each corner in the same way the procedure is same so now this is done the hemming part is uh, done completely and now the final step is to make this solid so I, what I will do I will simply mirror this on the other side and then let's join these two parts okay so this is done now we have to just add thickness to this surface so I will rename this body as outer panel okay so let's add thickness so the thickness is 0.7 mm for this outer panel So the direction is correct. So the thickness is 0.7 for the outer panel. Okay, so now this is the solid as you can see. So if I take a section cut here then you can see the hemming is done properly and if you measure the gap in between this in between the outer panel and inner panel then you can see this is the two sorry the point 2 mm gap on both sides as you can see okay so the gap between uh, this at this position at this area the gap is you can see it is 2.5 as you can see so as per customer requir requirement we have 
the customer requirements are now fulfilled and in that way we have designed this uh, outer panel and inner panel so I will simply mirror this inner panel as well on the other side okay so now the inner panel is done Okay, so in this way we have completed the outer panel and inner panel.